can you download Kronos Zen Studio on Mac? Kronos Zen Studio is designed exclusively for Windows, so you cannot install it natively on Mac OS. However, you can run it on a Mac and here's a safe and legal way to make it work, even on Apple Silicon M1 or M2 models. Here's a full step-by-step -step walkthrough. Step 1. Identify your Mac type. First, check if your Mac is using an Intel processor or the newer Apple Silicon M1 or M2 chips. This matters because installation steps are different depending on your Mac's architecture. Step 2. Install Windows on your Mac. Since Kronos Zen Studio only works with Windows, you'll need to run Windows on your Mac using one of the following. Intel Macs. Use Bootcamp Assistant to create a Windows partition and install Windows natively. M1 or M2 Macs. Use virtualization tools like Parallels Desktop or VMware Fusion to set up a Windows virtual machine. Choose the method compatible with your Mac. Step 3. Download the necessary files. Head to the official sites and grab these files. The latest Windows ISO file from Microsoft's official website and the Kronos Zen Studio installer for the Windows version from the Kronos Mac's website. Make sure to download the latest version for full compatibility. Step 4. Install Kronos Zen Studio. Once you've launched Windows, either via Bootcamp or your virtual machine, run the Kronos Zen Studio setup file and follow the prompts to install it. Connect your Kronos Zen device to your Mac using a USB cable. Wait for the device to be recognized before proceeding. Finally, Step 5. Set up and start using. Open Zen Studio from Windows. The software should automatically detect your device. From here, you can load game packs, add scripts, and customize mods as needed. You're now ready to use Kronos Zen Studio on your Mac like a pro. Important reminders, this guide is for educational use only. Be cautious. Using mods might break the terms of service for certain games. Use wisely. Some Macs may not supply enough USB power, so ensure your device stays connected. Never use pirated software or unauthorized tools. This method is legal, platform-friendly, and doesn't promote any unsafe or prohibited behavior. And that will be all for today's guide. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.